I tell my kids all the time, spend time with each other as a family because that's your support system, that's your backbone. Today's commandment is family first. Uh, you have a show uh, that's coming out on the Reels Network. It's yes. called Masterpiece Family Empire. Yes, sir. Tell me about that show. It's a reality show? It's a reality show talking about, uh, well, it's showing my family life. Me and my kids building a generational wealth is untraditional to what's out there in the reality of space right now. It's about family values, positive. We're not a perfect family, but you know, we're out to change the game. It's like I, for me, building a generational wealth, that means I got to go down to my youngest son, which is nine years old, Mercy, all the way back up to Romeo, which is 25, and it's like, you know what? We need to start now, focusing on our education, focusing on our faith, and focusing on the wealth that we want to build as a, as a hip hop family. Right. Because you know, when you talk about hip hop family, you're not supposed to see what we're doing. We're not supposed to be preparing for the future. And, and, and having a change mindset, what you normally see with hip hop families. I mean, you know, the values that I bring to my kids is like, we're not friends. I'm your father. You know, I want you to be better than me. Mm -hmm. This is not about me. This is not about you. This is about us as a family changing the game, changing what Hollywood thinks about us, mm -hmm. how Hollywood perceives the typical hip-hop family. You know, Run DM, the Run show was one example of it, and you have other shows out there, but I feel like what's different with my family is that you get a chance to, to see, you know, from the ones that want to be basketball stars to entertainers to movie stars, and, you know, me as a single dad raising them, I, I feel like, you know, it's about parenting, spending time with your kids, not letting other people spend time with, with your kids because they're going to grow up to be what that person values mm -hmm. are. And I can't help but think about Joe Jackson and, yeah. and, and uh, Mr. Knowles and some yeah. of the guys that really groomed their yeah. children for greatness and succeeded at that. Your daughter is a big star on yeah. Nickelodeon yeah, right now. Will we get a, a window into how, how you're like, working with her? Yeah, well, you know what's different about my family? Uh, with me as a parent, you know, I'm not pushing my kids to be entertainers. I'm pushing them to go to college. Now, if you're good at entertainment, you know, we're going to help you explore that. But, you know, it's education first in my household. It's like, you know, you, you ain't got to be a superstar in my house. Mm -hmm. you know, even though my daughter's a superstar and Rome's a superstar, I mean, but you don't have to be that. I, I, I want to raise some doctors, some lawyers. I want, I want some accountants, you know, besides the other talent that you have. If you're an entertainer, then you need something to fall back on. Well, more and more, it's part of being an entertainer. Yes, we just yes you need that. You need that right now that this generation you don't realize that educate, educating yourself and preparing for future success. Mm -hmm. It's more important than just get success and not be prepared for it. 99.9% .9 of the people in this world will never have been in yeah. the situation that you've been as a hip-hop entrepreneur yeah. and a mogul, which is a very unique experience. Was it, you know, my life come from a lot of struggle, but I didn't let that stop me. You know, like I've always worked for what I wanted. And but that's will you the, be showing? I'm showing some everything. Of this interaction I'm showing. With I'm showing everything. Showing the good, the bad, everything. I mean, nothing is easy in this world. Even for my kids, I'm not just giving my kids. You know, you got to work for it. You got a business you want. You got to bring me a business plan. What I like about doing the reality shows, I thought I never would be doing ever do a reality show. But what what was different about this, getting with you know with the Hubbard family and Reels Channel, saying that let's do something positive, let's showcase something positive. Let's not hide your spiritual side. Let's not hide, you know, where you come from. Let's not hide. I don't have to change my music. My music is one person. You know, my business, savvy is another person. But the most important thing, the way I raise my kids uh, as a father, that's the most important hat that I feel like as an African-American person, you know, they always talk negative. Man, the fathers are not there. Mm -hmm. they, they, what are they doing? You know, I don't go on the road most of the time because I have to be with my kids. You know, most of the time my kids want to come with me. Like yeah. my youngest son, he wanted to come. He's like, well, I'm going to say, let's go, son. Yeah, he's here today. Which yeah, is really so, cool. and that's, that's what it's about, you know, the stereotype that they put on hip-hop people. There are some good hip-hop people out there. There's a lot of bad up hip-hop people out there, but there, there are some people that want to change their life, and they're doing this for their family.